Well, good morning. Well, it's gonna be the afternoon, but you know, you know what I, you know what I was gonna say. Yeah, it is a beautiful Sunday afternoon at this point, and we got to talk a little bit about you know some basketball. You know, some basketball's been happening. There, there, there was a little bit of uh, something called the Olympics that happened. You know, oh, you know, that finished up last week. You know with the U.S. men's and women's Olympics teams winning gold medals. I mean, come on. I mean, this is kind of obvious. Uh, the women's national team, you know, has won, what, their eighth straight gold medal. Men's, you know, took down France in the final. And I'm not sure who the women beat, but, uh, but again, it was kind of it was very obvious that the women's national team was going to win another gold medal. Like, come on. <laughs> come on. There's still not that much parity in women's basketball. Let's just be real. You know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know when it comes to outside the NBA, you know, there is literally no parity at all, like FIBA and stuff like that. But like the women's game is even more notorious with the parity nonsense, you know, just not being there. So um, that's just a brief spiel on that stuff. And because of that, um, Gershon Yabusel, I, I probably butchered your net name, but he played for France in the Olympics, and he may be close to signing with the Philadelphia 76ers. Of course, free agency in the NBA has continued to go on. You know, you know, there's been some trades like Russell Westbrook getting traded. There's been some other stuff, you know, that has happened. But ultimately, I haven't been keeping up too much with free agency and stuff like that, but I did find this out earlier this morning. So that should be very interesting for Philadelphia. If, you know, um, 76 is one of those teams that can get over the hump if need be, but, you know, it, will they get over the hump? We'll find out as also the 2024-2025 NBA schedule is out. Yes, sir. I'm loving it. I'm um, loving that. It's going to be interesting to see this year that there's there's plenty of stuff to talk about. Opening night is going to be Boston, New York, and then Minnesota and the L.A. Lakers. Christmas Day is going to be, you know, very, very intriguing. I mean, my goodness. Um, it's going to be one hell of a Christmas Day. Wimpy taking on the Knicks. Minnesota and Dallas um, in, the, in the West Finals rematch. Um, the 76ers, Celtics, Lakers, Warriors, of course. The Nugs and the Suns. Um, who knows? You know what in the world's going to be what it's going to be like with Bronny and LeBron. You know, teaming up <laughs> like the, the father son duo, teaming it up. Uh, the finals rematch, the first one anyway, you know, Boston and Dallas. It'll be a Saturday afternoon in January, which is really, really good for me. You know, it's going to be a really, really good day for me. A Saturday afternoon in January watching basketball, just mm, chef's kiss. Uh, of course, you know, with me, when it comes to the NBA, yeah, most people know by now how I kind of do it. You know, with the NBA, most people are kind of know by now that I talk, you know, really opening day, then take two months off, talk about the Christmas games, take another like month off. Then we talk about the games on MLK Day, which there are three of them this year that are going to be nationally televised. One of them doesn't involve the Hawks, though. So that's interesting. Uh, one's Memphis. Uh, one has the Hornets and the Mavs for some reason. And it's on NBA TV, which is weird, you know. Um, and then the other is Boston Golden State, which, again, I don't know. I, I don't know how this year is going to shake out for the NBA, but I'm glad the schedule is out. I'm glad it's out. Of course, we all know at this point, this may be TNT's final season. It, it, it probably will be. It, it, I'm just, it's like a 99% chance, you know, that it will be TNT's final year broadcasting the NBA for the foreseeable future. As of course, those new TV deals have been announced. You know, with Amazon, um, you know, Amazon got a good chunk of stuff, 
and I think we I think we talked about this last month. I think it was confirmed last month. It was confirmed at some point. I don't remember when. But yeah, TNT is out. Amazon is in. NBC is in. You need Tuesday night games, you know, on the broadcast network and Sunday night games. So those Sunday night games that you see in the back half of the season, you know, for the NBA that's on like ESPN at like six, seven o'clock at night central. Yeah, those are going to NBC. Those games are going to NBC, and that's basically, you know, like basically a little bit of a reduction in ESPN's content. Amazon gets, what, like 60-something games? NBC gets like 100, and then ESPN gets like 80, you know, and then, you know, um, so uh, it's a very interesting deal because ESPN doesn't get a conference final every year. They still get the finals every year. That they get there's one year where they don't get the conference finals. It's like one year where Amazon and NBC will split the conference finals. Like they're gonna split the other twelve conference finals over the eleven year deal, you know. Um, and it's like at the same time, you know, before we even, you know, before we even, you know, really, you know, kind of just. You know, go too crazy into it. I do not like this deal per se completely. Um, I know this is the way the NBA wants to go. I know this is the way most leagues are wanting to go with, you know, with there being, you know, a streaming component to it. But at the same time, there, there's a lot more. There's a lot more. There's a lot more that meets the eye to it, you know. There's more games on broadcast television. There's going to be more games on broadcast television on Tuesday nights, you know, on Sundays. You know, Sunday's going to have the ABC Mark key game. You know, you know, you know, and then you know, like the the, the, the and of course the stuff the Saturday night series, but like they'll have the Sunday marquee games in the afternoon. NBC will have the night games. You know, Amazon will have games on what Thursdays, Fridays, throughout the year, and everything like that. So it's going to be intriguing. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Like, you know, how this is all going to kind of just shake out completely, but. Uh, I'm kind of excited. Again, I'm, I'm just iffy on the streaming component. If I weren't so iffy on it, you know, the, with the way Amazon's track record has been, I, 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 I mean, I, I'm not impressed entirely because, again, Amazon over the past couple of years has gotten, you know, some pretty uh, kind of meh, you know, games with the NFL and then they've got some other deals and stuff like that like with Premier League worldwide or you know like the MLB which you know it's okay but it's like it's nothing really to you know really sink your teeth into completely so I don't know so I don't know TNT being out I mean at this point David Zazla and, and the company just kind of you know Burning money, you know, trying to, you know, keep the rights, trying to do whatever they can, including trying to get a lawsuit in, keep the rights. And then there's that venue sports thing that, you know, got blocked by the federal government. So, yeah, this is like the only time I will mention venue sports because I don't, I don't want to talk about that. That's <laughs> crazy. That was going to be 42 bucks. Um and it, and it isn't even everything. It's like you don't have CBS or NBC on it. Like it's Fox, ESPN, and, and Warner Brothers. Like no, <laughs> no, and especially for forty two dollars. Hell no. Um, but yeah, um, the new TV deal that's going to start next year. I, I, I'm leaning towards liking it. Again, this is the same stuff I'm, I've said over the years about some other things that I'm not too privy to. Again, I'm a little bit of an old head in a way. Um, Definitely, you know, don't like that the NBA has, you know, done the play in tournament. You know, I'd rather just go one through 16 altogether, you know, reduce the first round to five games, second, third, and the final, um, you know, or seven games, but the first round being, you know, five games to just kind of get the nonsense out of the way because the NBA is still not 
you know, it's it's better parody than WNBA is, but it's not by entirely too much at this point. I'm just gonna be real with y'all. Um, yeah, this year should be interesting. Um, I'm gonna be watching. Of course, I'm pretty casual with my NBA watching. Again, like I said, opening night. I do opening night. I'll do opening night. I'll do Christmas. I'll do MLK Day. And then, you know, once the NFL, you know, starts winding down that that last Saturday of January when ABC starts broadcasting games again, you know, I, I, I hop in and then I hop off, you know, for March Madness and then I hop right back in, you know, for the playoffs. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, the WNBA, we need to talk about that real quick before we, before we get into anything too crazy because – the league returned this past Thursday, and and there were some interesting games yesterday. There was some interesting games yesterday. The Aces and the Liberty played yesterday, um, and New York got the big victory over the Aces in a thrilling game. You know, again, the usual suspects showed out. You know, with Rihanna you know, Stewart. You know, I mean. Spring Inescu, Jonquil Jones, again, just playing lights out, out-dueling, out-dueling Asia Wilson and company and getting that first playoff spot. So, again, eight teams go to the playoffs in the WNBA, of course, as we all know. And there's one other thing, you know, that I need to add in here. Let me add this one more thing in here, and it's the D. Erica Hamby situation. We need to talk about that real quick. I just realized that um, um, the Erica, uh, Erica Hamby's been, you know, on a tear, you know, recently, you know, um, as far as, you know, basically saying that, you know, WMA kind of screwed over when she was um, pregnant, you know, and she's got a lawsuit, you know, hand in hand with that, um, and I think I know I've add, I know I've added some things in here, but I think you know I think this is another interesting case of the WNBA just not you know completely not completely getting you know things together when it comes to you know players you know players getting and I hope I spelled her name right I probably didn't. Let me check. Let me check real quick, cause yeah, I did. I was about to say I, I, I thought I didn't, but look at me tripping. But yeah, um, yeah, th- th- that's definitely you know something you know here with this lawsuit. You know, this could actually mess up the CBA a little bit. You know, for WNBA. This could actually mess up the CBA. Um, again, you know, there, there was something, you know, she alleges that there was something being wrong when, you know, she's pregnant, you know, being discriminated against, you know, or, you know, there was some retaliation from the WNBA because she was pregnant, you know, you know, can't really, can't really say too much, you know, because I don't really know too much about this case, you know, you know, I'm reading and I've been reading up on it and it's kind of a simple type thing, you know, you know, it's, you know, it's her word against the WNBAs. It's her word against the WNBAs. And I think, you know, again, I think things, you know, I think things, you know, could, you know, Think things could, you know, get a little bit crazy, you know. Again, um, you know, you, you, you basically, basically, what I'm trying to say here is that, you know, we, 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 it's, it's 2024. We have to. It doesn't matter, you know, whether you, whether you're, you know, what, what, whatever you may be, you know, you have to be treated. You know, with, with respect, with niceness, 
courteousness if you know in the case of the year Hamby, you know who apparently was not treated right by the aces staff you know when she was on the las vegas aces you know a couple years ago basically you have to rectify that so the wba has a little problem to rectify this and they're gonna have to rectify it quickly otherwise things are gonna go a little bit crazy because again you know, the CBA has some strict rules in place, you know. And it's like, you know, life happens. You Sometimes you may not even know you're pregnant. Like, sometimes you may not even know. Life happens. Things happen. So, again, I, I'm not entirely sure what to make of this situation. I'm really not entirely sure what to make of this situation because it came out relatively recently. And I... I and I, I remember reading about it, but I didn't really, you know, know too much about it until, you know, until I read about it again a little bit this morning. And and, and right now, I'm not going to lie to you, I read, I read a little bit right now. So um, there's that. Um, I don't want to talk any more about it no, for the moment because it's not. It, it's important that the WNBA fixes, you know, that, but at, at the same time, you know, I don't want to hamper too much on just one specific case and everything like that. Um, again, the playoffs start um, next month. So the playoffs start in one month. Most teams, you know, again, have like 15 games left. You know, some have played maybe one, maybe two games, you know, post-Olympic break so far. So we got maybe like 13 games, 13 to 15 games left for teams. So... At the end of the day, I'm glad that the WNBA is back. Um, but at the same time, it's going to be September. So, you know, this is really like the last, you know, this next weekend, or really up the last two weekends, I'm going to really, you know, kind of truly focus on it. I'm just going to agree with you. Again, this is the same problem with leagues like PGA or IndyCar or the PLL. You got to end your seeds a little bit earlier <laughs> because once the NFL starts, it's the NFL, baby. It's the NFL. Like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way we're not going to, you know, just go all in. But, yeah, um, I'll, I'll talk to you all again about the WNBA playoffs, you know, starting next month and give my predictions on the playoffs, which I'm sure they're going to be wrong. A lot of people are, you know, kind of thinking, hey, the Liberty clinched the playoff spot. Maybe they could be the WNBA champions, but oh, no, no. We'll see. We will see how things shake out because, again, there are a lot of teams that could get this, you know, could get this thing, you know, on on lock. You know, there's a couple big games today, you know, on this Sunday, including Caitlin Clark taking on, you know, the Seattle Storm today, Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever taking on Jewel Lloyd and the Seattle Storm on ABC at 2.30 after Little League Baseball. So, you know, hope y'all hope y'all enjoy that like I will at 2.30 um, today. And I know some of these videos have been getting kind of long, but again, I've had a lot to talk about over the past, you know, couple videos and stuff like that. Um, tomorrow, um, we're going to talk a little bit, you know, some volleyball talk a little bit about some volleyball. I'm going to talk about some beach volleyball. I'm going to talk about some professional volleyball. I'm going to talk about some college volleyball. So I'm glad to be talking volleyball with you all for the first time. And then Tuesday, of course, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. College football. Can't wait to talk about week zero, baby. Can't wait to talk about it. Um, so, yeah, that'll do it for me. Um, again, a lot to talk about, you know, coming back from the Olympics, you know, with the very obvious results to stuff that is just insane, as usual, when it comes to talking basketball. So, from me to you, Big Boy Sports signing out, and I will see you all yet again very, very soon with more content.